Hello, and welcome to Be Rare Builds. First up, I want to just say there's going to be a slight change in the format. Um, I'm going to be splitting the videos up from the modeling part, from the 3D printing and painting part. I was finding that the videos were taking too long to make, and so I'm hoping this way we can get some uh, more regular content, um, maybe like three or four weeks apart. Also, if you want to buy any of the models that I make on this b ray build series, you can head over to ArtStation where you can pick up the STL file ready for SLA 3D printing. The Omni Man from this video is already up on the store, so head over now. So with that out of the way, today we are making Omni Man from the amazing animated TV show Invincible. Uh, this show is on Amazon Prime and uh, it's really good, quite surprisingly. Um, it looks like a Warner Brothers animated show. Um, it kind of feels like the boys, um, really good, nice and gritty, and so I'm making Omni Man, the one of the main characters from this. And so yeah, on with the video. So I start off by um, creating a head from this website that allows you to upload an image of someone, and it would create a, a head that kind of matches, and it will map that photo onto the head. Um, my fan casting was um, John Ham. And so I use this, um, but you can see that the the model uh, doesn't really look a lot like uh, John Hamm without the photo. Um, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, basically re-sculpt the model and add a bunch more detail on top to kind of like you know, get it to look like him. I'm not very good at uh, likeness, as I mentioned before. Um, well, I'm sure if I spent you know considerable more time, I could get it closer. Um, but these videos are made on a uh, super short time, time scale, so yeah, I don't have time to finesse the model as much as I want to. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a Barry base mesh. Um, but Omni Man is actually quite a beefy guy, so I'm going to go in and thicken up the, the base mesh to give him you know, a much bulkier look. Start refining the shapes, start carving in some more detail. We highlight those shoulder muscles and the arm muscles. It's coming along, sharpen up some of those muscles, do definition. I'm going to do some uh, uh, some refinements on the on the hair. Um, this hair is more for reference, really. I'm not actually going to be using it on the final model. I've got a cool technique that I'll show you later on for that. So the model starting to come come along now. Refine some more of those those feral brown details that John Ham has. It's kind of looking still a little bit like him. Um, spoilers, the model does not look like him at the end. Sharpen out those eyes. The model's coming along pretty, pretty nicely considering where it started. Some of those creases around the eyes. Yeah, it's pretty much there. Just a few more adjustments. A bit more tweaking to the tash. I think I'm going to sharpen up that jaw a little bit more. Yeah, for now, I think that's looking pretty good. My sidebands are a bit chunky. Right now over to Marvelous Designer where I'm going to uh, simulate some cloth. And I'm going to start off by kind of mapping out the torso and the legs, copying that to the other side, then stitching it together. There we go. Add the collar, and we'll jostle around, get it into the right place. Now I'm going to start carving in the color detail into the, into the model to match the design of the actual suit. Got a big giant O on his chest. Now I'm 
gonna start uh, making the arms. Copy that on the other side. All right, stitch it together. These bits are always kind of fiddly. The, uh, the end of the, cu the cuff is always tricky to get in place. So you make one and then you just copy it to the other side. Right now, um, this is where I'm going to differ from the one from the animated show. Kind of wanted it to, to have a bit more of a kind of a MCU Marvel vibe, um, and obviously it's a cartoon, so it's a real simple design. So yeah, I'm basically trying to go in and take what's there and kind of finesse it and make it a bit more refined, a bit more polished. Pick out some details. I'm going to add that cape in. It's always fun to do. Get a bit of wind in there, see if it looks good flapping around. And some leg details that match the torso. Yeah, I think the thing's looking pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with the shape of the head, um, but I really want him to have a quite a realistic look. So I've got this um, scanned model um, of a real person and the detail is amazing, it's super high res. And um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map this, 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 this model onto my model. So I have the shape of mine with the texture of the, um, the scan. Um, I use the software called um, Wrap, um, which is used to do um, like film doubles in movies. Um, so I use some alignment points and I match from one to the other. Um, when I've done not too many points, you know, about 30, 40 points, um, I run the simulation and now the scan has the same shape as the as the model I had sculpted. Now it's looking pretty good. Um, it looks nothing like John Hamm anymore, um, but that's okay. Um, so now I'm just going and adjust it. And there's some few artifacts that came through on the scan, like he was wearing like a weird sock over his head. So we remove that. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to move on to the gloves. Um, this is going to be a quite a quick and dirty pro a process. Um, I'm just going to add some piping. Um, kind of give it that sort of padded, padded vibe. Kind of freeballing the uh, design a little bit. Kind of looking at a few different references like Captain America's gloves. Now I'm going to start going in and refining those edges. Kind of give it more of a padded look. The same process on the boots, uh, which were actually made from a, a lovely pair of, of ladies' boots that I found on Turbo Squid. I'm kind of matching the detail style that I put onto the gloves. This is like a similar theme that runs through the character. You're almost there now. Yeah, don't like that. All right, yeah, go through and start refining those edges. Now onto the hair. Uh, I want to try something different this time. Um, I've used uh, a hair modifier before in the past to make game game hair, but I was wondering if I could use it and make hair that's ready for 3D printing. Um, get quite a lot of control and realism in the, in the way that the hair kind of flows, uh, rather than trying to sculpt it. I'm always a big proponent of using simulation rather than like a sculpted uh, design. So I start off with the tash. I'm make it the right color. Now I, uh, I 
select part of the, the head and detach it. And then I start separating that, that up, up into pieces. Um, I want to have control over the, the different sections of the hair. Um, so I'm going to start off with the side, uh, which is going to be the predominantly gray part. Yeah, Omni Man has like this uh, good look where he has like a bit of a uh, nice bit of gray on the side of his head. So get that in, start picking up a little bit. So it's quite an organic process, and like kind of you're almost brushing the hair. It's called grooming. Um, yeah, start thickening it up a little bit. Make sure it's readable and as a print. Into the top part of the hair. Scale it out and comb it into position. You guys based out all there now. Thicken it up a little bit, give it more volume. Give it a big quiff at the front. I think I'm pretty good with the hair now. And I'll sit next to the geometry one that I made. It's looking pretty close. A bit more tweaks to the tash, a bit more of a natural shape and flow. You can control like, how um, curly it is and how um, dishevelled it is and how many clumps there are. Um, now I'm going to move on to the uh, eyebrows. Select the part of the mesh that I want. And then apply the modifier and then comb it into position. There we go, let's check out the final model. And there you go. Now I was really happy with how that model came out. Best model so far, definitely. Um, but for those people that are like, well, how am I gonna print that? Uh, here's some renders of the actual model that's gonna come the STL file. Um, we've got the Invincible logo on the base and we've got the cool little stand. So head on over to ArtStation if you wanna buy that. Now the next video is gonna be the print and paint of the Omni-Man. Uh, that should be up in about three or four weeks. So stay tuned for that. Please like and subscribe. This has been B-Rad Builds. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.